All right, so in this video, we are going to check uh, a brand new pail of Irving Hydraulic 32 oil. I got this at Princess Auto for 45 bucks. I think they just started selling this recently. They have uh, various brands of oil there for sale for hydraulic equipment. We're putting into a TCM forklift that calls for this oil. I did a video on selecting oil if you want to look at that. And then unfortunately the TCM doesn't have a strainer on the inlet. So I'm going to use a strainer here and it's going to take forever. But I want to be fair to Irving and uh, do a full opening of the pail. So we'll uh, dump the pail in. Then we'll open the pail and take a look inside and look in the strainer. So you can see the strainer is absolutely clean. Top of the pail is clean as well. And because uh, I noticed in some of the oil at Princess Auto, people were finding trash in the oil, which is not really good. So we're going to do a full pail. This has got an empty tank on it right now. I guess we we'll use a key to open the breather. Hopefully that gives us enough flow. And uh, because we're using the full pail, we're going to open that. If you're just using a part pail, you maybe choose not to because you don't want garbage to get in there. So, let's see if we can get a, a reasonably good shot of this. Hopefully not holding this pail for half an hour. In some awkward position. It's feeling kind of awkward. All right. I haven't seen anything unusual come out yet. I'm not going to run the machine with this oil on it right now. I need to change the uh, return filter still. But it'll work fine. You can hear my neighbors practicing their musical instruments. At least you're not going through the scales anymore, they're actually playing some music. So we're going to do this in one scene without any cuts, just to give Irving a fair shake here on their product. Not raise any questions about me tampering with it. So I'm not an expert on this oil at all. I don't know what the preferred uh, appearance is on it or smell or anything like that. It met all the technical specs for this machine, but this is, doesn't, it, actually it's way over the technical specs for this machine. Because this thing was built in like 1990. So oil has probably changed a bit over 30 years. All right, well we're well over half a pail now. I've spilt a little bit on the floor, unfortunately.
Still haven't seen anything alarming, haven't seen any water. Any chunks of plastic or rubber or anything. Like for Americans, this was like probably $35 US for a pail. It was pretty inexpensive. So it always makes you kind of suspicious as to what you're getting. Because you could go to Shell and pay three times as much. There's no local TCM dealer here, so I couldn't give them a fair shot at it. But it's unlikely they're importing oil from Japan either. Alright, we're probably going to go over to focus here as I try to get the last little bit. There's a pail. Alright, so we will uh, let that go down and then I'll rip the pail open here. Take a look at this. Just going down. Looking good. Bit of oil hanging onto the screen there, but I don't feel like there's any trash in it. Get my light. You can see a little line of maybe some additive in there. Like if you've ever bought Castrol in the white containers, you always see a little bit of something in the bottom of them. Looks like we're doing pretty good. Pour the last little bit in here now that we know that it's not nasty. Sorry for that. I'm sure you couldn't see anything. Anyway, I think that uh, there's a little bit of metal flake in here. But there's no chunks of anything. So I'd say that that's uh, acceptable quality oil. It's definitely better than their uh, blue pails at Princess Auto. And that uh, $45 a pail Canadian, that's uh, a good deal. So I guess we'll just get cleaned up and thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this informative.